So I made a video probably a month ago now uh, talking about how psychedelics has been crucial in my healing from Lyme disease, healing process from Lyme disease. I've tried so many things, everything under the sun. Um, you name it, I've tried it to help my healing. Uh, but when I started taking psychedelics, that's when I started to see big differences. So I wanted to update you all on where that's at now. So just a recap of the last video. The last video I talked about how, well, first off, I started microdosing on psychedelics, uh, specifically mushrooms, psilocybin. And um, that just came from a point of, I felt that I was ready and I felt that I needed it. And I just reached a point in my life where I was just kind of done <laughs> with everything and people and health and toxic stuff and relationships and all that. So I was like, it just felt right. It felt like it was time. Uh, people have been asking me about it for years and I never tried it. And so I was like, you know what? It is time to do this. So started microdosing at uh, 0.25 grams, very small. Actually started smaller than that at like 0.15, went up 0.25 and then point like three. Uh, didn't quite make it to half a gram. Again, these are very, these are micro doses. So I never, still have never like hallucinated or anything like that. Um, but for me, what the psychedelics have done and are doing is just bringing up things that are repressed. And, you know, I think that's crucial in healing something like Lyme disease because I don't know if it's, so I'll, I'll say this, what came first, the chicken or the egg? And I say that because years ago, 2016, I had a nervous breakdown um, where a lot of things happened. I've talked about it many times on this channel. And I went and started seeing a naturopath who was the one who initially diagnosed me with Lyme disease. And what he said was, um, you know, I told him about this nervous breakdown and how six months later I started experiencing all these symptoms. And he's like, you know, it's debatable whether or not that mental breakdown uh, was what triggered all of these symptoms from because you've probably had Lyme before, it's chronic Lyme, or if um, it was Lyme that gave you the, you know, that triggered the nervous breakdown. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Don't know. Um, but a huge part of Lyme disease that is very common um, in like the support groups that I follow and other people that I've talked to about having Lyme disease or going through like the healing from Lyme disease is that a lot of flare-ups, a lot of triggers, a lot of, you know, when the symptoms get worse, it comes from, you know, can, emotional triggers. So when you're stressed out, when you're feeling stressed, when you're triggered emotionally, these symptoms of Lyme will get worse. That's very common um, among, you know, Lyme disease patients, people that are going through Lyme disease. So I've noticed that for myself as well. I'm, I'm no different. If I'm stressed, if I get triggered, if I'm in a toxic relationship, just the symptoms of Lyme disease, they just get worse. I, I lose sleep, um, nothing is working, uh, digestion is at a halt, like the gut health is just trashed. Um, and so emotional support is extremely, extremely support, uh, important uh, from other people, but you know, from yourself and learning how to manage your emotional state of well-being and how to mitigate that stress emotionally. So coming back now to psychedelics, psychedelics, um, when I first started microdosing, it brought up all of that stuff. It brought it all up and it's still doing that. And that's what it's been doing for me. I don't know if that is common. I think it's common among psychedelics that it just brings up those repressed emotions. And so, um, when I first took the psychedelics, um, I had to deal with, I think I, I really repressed that when I was, when I had that nervous breakdown like five years ago, I really repressed these feelings of depersonalization and derealization. I just kind of learned how to operate in the world around me. Um, and I didn't know what that was. I was just like, I just felt like I was dreaming all of the time and like I wasn't real, like nothing was real. And I just kind of learned to live with that. It was, well, I learned to live with it, but it was also Rene Descartes' Discourse on the Method uh, and, you know, the whole I think, therefore I am. Learning more of what that meant that actually helped pull me out and bring me out of that. Um, and that's, you know, a huge reason why I love philosophy because it saved me in a number of ways. Um, it helped ground me in reality. So when I first started taking psychedelics, those feelings got brought up again. And I had to, you know, 
in my head decide, all right, what do I think about this reality? How do I, you know, navigate this reality? And that was actually really scary when I, when I took them that all of this stuff was brought up again. And I was like, man, I've really just learned to live around it. I haven't actually dealt with it. Um, and so I had to deal with that. And then, you know, then a whole bunch of other stuff came up. That was kind of like the gateway in, in a way. I think I had to deal with my outlook on reality first and then that was kind of the gateway into a lot of other emotional stuff being brought up and then um, through you know months of this months of microdosing weekly uh, went back to the doctor and got you know a crazy awesome result and that's what I talked about in that last video so um, it, I was like all right I'm just gonna keep going with this I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going with it and see where this takes me. The next, so I see my doctor every three, four months, uh, three months for blood work, four months for the visit. And uh, so it's been a few months. I went and saw my doctor again. And in the last video, I talked about the CD57 blood test, how mine has forever for the last years and years and years been so incredibly low. I haven't even been at bare minimum. And then I reached bare minimum and that happened after the months of microdosing on, you know, mushrooms and um, you know, just working things out, working through all these repressed emotions, taking care of myself uh, very avidly. So um, then the next set of months, I uh, started to gain some ground on, with my music on TikTok. I actually have, I just hit 50,000 followers on TikTok and the music's been doing really well. And to keep that momentum going, what I decided to do was make three TikToks a day, which was stupid. And I lost sleep, I stopped micro dosing, um, I wasn't taking care of myself and I knew I wasn't doing that. Um, and then I went back to the doctor and my CD57 went back down. So. I now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the balance now because I'm like, okay, I was microdosing every week. I was really taking care of myself and I was, you know, getting all of these repressed emotions out. And then I went to a place where I was just like work, work, work all the time. I was working full time, working full time, working part time and doing the TikTok stuff and doing the music stuff and trying to make all of it work. And it was just really stressing me out. And then, you know, the CD57 test, showed that. So, um, you know, taking care of yourself emotionally is huge. And I think that w for me, when I take psychedelic, when I take, you know, the mushrooms, psilocybin, psychedelics, whatever you want to call it, um, I make time. Like there's, there's like, you know, I, I'll take it, uh, with, with food and the next four to six hours, I'm just doing me. I'm just processing and I'm just, you know, breathing and, and really, you know, up here a lot I'm up I'm up here and just just working through stuff that's coming up um, and I, I totally neglected that for you know the 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 next set of months and the blood work showed that so now I know and now I'm like okay I need to really make time for this I really I really need to you know continue the microdosing continue to work stuff out, probably up the dosages um, because I've been noticing that like, it's weird how the psych how I feel like they're working because it's kind of like, I started with this really, really, really small dose that had a huge effect and now I take the same dose and it's like, I don't really, nothing's really happening. I feel good, I feel great, I feel at peace, but um, I, I feel like in a weird way, as weird as this sounds, I'm being asked by the universe or whatever you want to call it. Maybe my own conscious is like we, you know, you can use this as a tool, but you know, you're, you're uncovering, you're go, you're going deeper. So you need a bit more, um, you know, so I'm going to up the dosage, see what that does. Um, and really start to take care of myself more. So, um, I think that the mushrooms, and psychedelics have been, they're a tool. They're absolutely a tool. Just from the six months that I've been doing it, well, three solid months and then like once every couple of weeks when I was, you know, stressing myself out. Um, I see it, it, it's definitely a tool. 
It's absolutely the tool, a tool. I don't think that uh, it's, you know, uh, is it curing me? Is, you know, the, yeah, it, you can't ignore the fact that I was taking it, that I was, you know, avidly taking it, and then the blood work showed it, and then I stopped avidly taking it, and then the blood work showed, you know, a lesser result. I can't ignore that fact. Is it the psychedelics? I think the psychedelics are helping bring things to the forefront that I have been neglecting. Um, and as I stop neglecting that and bring it to the forefront, uh, just emotionally and taking care of myself, then my health is increasing. So I think that psychedelics are speeding up the process. I don't know if I can call them the cure, um, but they're absolutely helping because of the emotional aspect of Lyme disease and how, you know, it's a, I say emotional and I don't want people to hear this and think emotional like, um, oh, it's all like a spiritual soul kind of thing. No, emotions, you know, they're hormones in your body. Hormones really affect your body. They affect, you know, the endocrine system and the nervous system work hand in hand. And so the mind gut connection and the hormone like thoughts can trigger happy hormones. Thoughts can trigger the stress hormones, the stress hormones. Stress is the number one factor in disease and sickness like ever. And so, you know, Joe Dispenza, right? I don't listen to him too much. I've just heard a couple of things from him and he, you know, talks about how stress comes in, stress comes in and then, you know, your health declines. And it's like thoughts can trigger the hormones and the stress hormones which can cause destruction and sickness and disease to our body. So can happy thoughts cure us? He's like essentially, you know, theoretically, yes. And I think some science, you know, goes to prove that as well, as much as I've studied. And so, you know, taking care of that emotional state of being is astronomical in the healing process. And I, I think the last six months, anything that psychedelics have sh has shown me has shown me that that is so crucial, that is so true, that taking care of your emotional state of being and emotional state of being and taking care of yourself, um, is physically healing to your body. So I'm gonna, you know, continue doing what I do. I'm gonna continue on this journey. I will continue to update you all along the way. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what comes up. And I still need to make a video talking about, you know, I these these videos right now are about, you know, the journey of healing from Lyme disease. But I don't think I've really, I, I haven't. I don't think I haven't talked about, you know, just the experience of, of psychedelics that I've had so far, um, just on microdosing besides, you know, talking of Lyme disease and, and what that is. So seeing psychedelics for what they are now, uh, a tool and, you know, I hear that all the time, but now I've like experienced it firsthand that they are absolutely a tool that can be used in it. They're a very powerful tool. So that's what I'm going to continue to do and I will continue to update you all along the way. Anyway, would love to hear your thoughts down below. Please comment um, and, you know, let's talk about it. I'd love, I'd love to hear everything that you all have to say and I am going to make a video probably next week on what psychedelics has been doing for me separate from Lyme disease and just talk about that whole process from the first dose until now that I'm upping the dosages. So, um, yeah, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, and uh, can't wait to share more. I'll see you misfits in the next one. Peace! I used to wish for life after all of this But now I cherish every moment in life I get so